Oh, I am so ready. Hmm. Maybe I read this map wrong. Hmm. 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 Huh. Huh. Nope, this is it. Mickey! Minnie! Oh boy. It's been a while since we've seen a Mickey Mouse video game, although he has appeared in a few crossover games over the years, including those free-to-play pay-for games, which I think are actually going free-to-play soon. The whole Mickey gang is here on this brand new side-scrolling co-op adventure that seems to take a fair bit of inspiration from Rayman Origins and Rayman Legends. Which I am not complaining about. I love those games and I am here for it. Although this does seem to be a lot more slowed down compared to those other games. Which I suppose makes sense as this is aimed at like younger gamers. With that being said, older gamers can still find a lot of enjoyment here. Especially if you're a fan of these Metroidvania style games. a bookcase in the middle of a jungle? Well, sure. I wonder if Mickey knows the difference between a jungle and a library. Great calamity will befall our world and a thousand evils will rain down on total suffering and misery! I can already tell Donald's gonna be like my favorite character in this game. I'm really glad the first quest of this game was really simple. I was worried it was going to be something difficult. Throughout this game there's a number of collectibles including Mickey memorabilia which is basically just little bits and pieces from old cartoons. Like here we see Peg Leg Pete done in the style of this game. It kind of makes me wish these could have been unlockable skins. Ah. So instead of climbing gear, we're getting a pencil, so we can, you know, design our own climbing gear and eventually build it ourselves, I suppose. Also, you don't actually attack enemies in this game, you kind of just use the environment to either avoid them, or like in these boss fights, you've got to hit all these buttons to drop a rock on them, or whatever that thing up there is. Which is a very interesting concept, although it can get a bit frustrating when you've got lots of enemies on screen. TBD! 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 And we can use the spell on anybody? No, just the thieves. Hmm, that seems suspiciously arbitrary. Yeah, much in life does. Okay, so all we gotta do is find the thieves and use the words to trap them. But it will only work when they're dazed. There certainly are a lot of rules. Such is the nature of magic. Mickey's like, gee, that plant is pretty. I can't really tell why, but it kind of reminds me of someone. Hang on, Mr. Yellow Buttons looks familiar. I had kind of hoped Oswald might have appeared in the game as an unlockable skin or something. I didn't think he'd be like... that. See, I've been a bit suspicious of Mazzy since I started the game because if you look at the cover, they got like this evil grin going on. They're like, <laughs> everything's going to plan. And then when you actually get into the game, they're making all these upgrades for you. Why? What is the big plan here? Disney just spoil their own game with the cover? Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, I'm kind of with Donald on this one, like... Everyone gets these cool gadgets and then he gives the creature covered in feathers special feathers they can fly with. This 
boss is just giant squawking bird. Oh, I don't say giant, I suppose he's bigger than Donald, so maybe that is giant. So we can swim underwater now, or under whatever this stuff is, and we've got like this dash attack that we can knock barriers open with, but we still can't attack enemies with it. These bosses get very challenging, especially if you're playing on regular lives mode. Just wanted to put a quick warning that there will be spoilers for the end of this game going forward, so if you don't want to see that, I guess you'll have to click off this video. But I got lots of other really cool videos you can go watch on the channel. Is it supposed to do that? Oh yes! Everything is going exactly according to pl <coughs> plan. Was phrased a little ominously. Oh no, I had a feeling they were gonna be the bad guys. Actually, I thought Mazzy was gonna be the bad guy too, so maybe that was just false advertising on the cover. Donald, don't you get it? We set out to be heroes, but it, it turns out we're villains! Oh, I love their cosplay. Oh look, a surprise boss battle with Mazzy! I am... shocked. Oh my, wow, I did not see this coming. It's not like the company spoiled their own game with the cover. So you have to go through and do all the boss fights again, but this time against Mazzy. And then he's got this other section in the middle that gets incredibly difficult, where you've got to basically destroy the crown. And I played this on Endless Lives mode, because I wanted to get this video done soon sooner rather than later. However, one of, the, one of these days when I'm finished all these videos, I might go back and play it on the harder difficulty just to see how long it takes me to get through it. So yes, it turns out Mazzy was not really evil, they were just under mind control. Honestly, that sounds like a standard Disney plot at this point. Wow! Alrighty guys, if you enjoyed this video, why not go click on the subscribe button so you see more content like this. Would you like to see me play some more Disney games? As soon as Disney Speedstorm and Dreamlight Valley go free to play, I'm hoping to make a video about them. Whenever that's gonna be. Also, don't forget to hit that like button, it really helps getting my content out there, and I couldn't have got this far without the help of all you incredible, amazing people. Let me know if I'm overdoing it. Alright everyone, see you all next time.